Well, 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 this is your girl Andrea again. As promised to you guys, I said I'm going to do a Caribbean fruit video. Mukbang. So, um, yeah, I have a bunch of fruits. I hope you can look at it. A bunch of fruits. Fruits that you can find in a Caribbean. And I'm going to try it. I'm going to name these fruits for you while I eat this fruit. Okay, so let's start with the Mami Sito. Sipo. This is Mami Sipo. See, it's a, it's a fruit, it's shaped just like a coconut really, and it has this big old black seed. I'm quite sure this seed has some value, probably. I have to look up, look it up. But I'm going to try the Mami Sipo. Okay, so um, what you do? Trying to figure out the taste of it. I know it's sweet. Can you remember how this tasted? I don't think this is one of my favorite food. When coming to taste, okay? But it's sweet, mommy sipo. For all of you who are living in the Caribbean, if you have a different name for this food, let me know, okay? But I'm putting this aside. I really don't like the taste of this one. All right. Let's move on to Chenet. Everybody know what Chenet is all like. You know? Chenet is a little wrong green fruit. Crack it with your teeth like this, and this is the inside. Right? It has a sort of gel like inside. Mm hmm. And it's really sweet. You try not to swallow the seed. So while it's in your mouth, you suck all the pulp out, you know? Chenet. I remember coming from school, passing by the chenna tree. Sometimes you send somebody to climb the tree. Mm. This is really nice. You suck it out until it be like this, you know? Mm. This is really sweet. I, I really don't like the mami sipo. I just taste it to see how it tastes really. You understand? So let's see what we'll talk about today. We're going to talk about the water crisis. How it is to be in Trinidad. Mm. And the crisis still goes on because right now it's having a water problem in Trinidad right now. But back in the days, when water gone, as we say it in Trinidad. You have to rely on your water tank to wash your clothes, to cook your food, to take your bath and everything. So and you, you hope that the rain will fall. You can fill up the water tanks and stuff like that, okay? And when the water do come, when the water do come, you might hear somebody shout out, Water come in! Run and you get your water container. You get a boxy cat. You might have a half a drum. You put it on the boxy cat. Pulling it real fast. By the, by the time you reach the standpipe, 10 people already line up waiting for, to fill up the containers. 
You understand? Or sometimes they have about five containers stuck in each other. Wait, could you? you have to wait, right? You have to wait. But it used to be fun. It used to be nice. All right. All right. Let's go on to some five fingers. This is five fingers. Yeah, this is a food that I really like it because of the sweet sour taste it have. You know. Mmm. Five fingers. Another name for so this is star fruit. Star fruit. Mm. This is really tasty. Yeah. So what I what I have a problem in Trinidad. And you know something? When you buy the standpipe, waiting to fill up your containers with water. That is the time you in everybody business. I am gossip them gossipers and them. If we waiting too. You gossiping about everybody business. Who with who man? Who taking who man? That kind of thing. We call it the standpipe melee. But you know, it used to be nice. It used to be nice. Come back to the channel. Because I love the channel so much. I think certain countries call it Kenneth. When Trinidad they call it chenet. It's a tropical food. Mmm. I love this. Alright. Watermelon do grow in Trinidad. So, this is a small one really. This one is so sweet, you know. I thought it was sweet. It's a good thing I cut a small slice. It's loaded with juice. Mm. Mm. I love fruits. It's better than eating junk. Get some fruits and enjoy some fruits. So have a boxy cap to carry your water and you're making trips you're making well trips until you're like you full up that drum put about three rooms of water in that drum sometimes that the time you just get to get a chance to chat with your little boyfriend and stuff like that as your mother you know going on While the water full and the water dropping like oil, you know. The water falling like oil. Slow, 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 slow. Like oil. You gotta wait a whole 20 minutes before you can fill up one container of water. Mm. Them chenet and them, them is my baby. And I have to find out what they do with this mommy CP. 
see the see that is all right let me see cashew cashew and all these fruits are washed before eating okay mm. Oh, look, look at the juice in that cashew. Look at the juice out rolling. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. I really like cashew, you know. The rose, the seed. You see the seed there? The rose, the seed. You make cashew nuts. And it's another use for the seed, you know. Like if you're chicken, if you're rearing chickens and stuff like that, and your chickens and them get sick, you roast the seed. I think you rub it. You rub it on the chicken. Like if the chicken have sores and stuff like that on the skin. Yeah, chicken do get sores. They call it yams. They say chicken have yams in Trinidad. So you roast that uh, cashew, the seed, and you rub that chicken. And other skilly yarns. All oh, these things you see. Mm. Cashew. All right. And the best food in the curry run for me. It's mango. <coughs> yes, you must be. Right? And this mango, this mango here is just like a it's just like a um truly mango. You know mangoes have different fruits in the Caribbean, right? <coughs> Let me see if I can list some of them for you. Chuli mango. You have Tudus mango. Tudus mango. You have turpentine mango. You have donkey stones mango. You have hog mango. You have mango fair or mango long. Right. You have little pa mango that is found in the bagel. Little little mango. Yeah. It have a lot of names for mangoes. Right? You could use mango to make mango chow. If you're making chow and you're eating it with salt and pepper, you cut up the half ripe mango, the green mango, make red mango, curry mango. Mango and char. Mango tagari. Every fruit in Trinidad and the Caribbean have a use. More than one, one more than one uses in fact. So this is how we eat a mango. All right, you get your mango. You peel off the skin. I see some people that look again knife and all kind of stuff. I don't look again no knife. Look at this mango. What knife you want? Man, put your mouth in the mango. Eh? Mm. A mango is a belly full, you know, a belly fuller. Mm -hmm. You see how pulpy it is? Sweet. We Trinidadians like to suck mango down to the bone. Down to the bone, we suck no mango. Take off that skin there. Eh? Bite off that part there. Eh? I thought that next part.
must be a nice man. Yeah. Now, when you come from school, long time when you come from school, you understand? You go on under the mango tree. On your way to the mango tree, you might look and see if you get a big stick. You get a big stick. You look up at the tree. See like three ripe mango, one branch. No. Yeah, you meant to hit the mango, eh? You don't have aim to hit the mango when you pet the mango. You aim to hit the branch that the mango on. As you know, once you get a branch, all the mango coming down. I love mangoes, I really do. That's good. That was really good. All right. What do you find the shape like? Your colon, right? That's so, all? Yeah, your colon shape like this. Tambran. Tamarindo. Call it Tambran in Trinidad. And this is how it looks like when you peel it. You see, it has all this kind of vein, like, like, so you, what did you pull out the vein? Pull out the vein? Right, it has seeds in it. You suck on it. And this is the sweet tamarind. It has the sweet tamarind, it has the sour tamarind. Mm-hmm. Mm. Very sweet. And, um, with the tamarind, You can make tamban ball. You can make tamban sauce. Put it away. Or you can just eat that tamban just like that. You understand? Tamban, let me show you again. You pull out the vein like this. This is the vein. You can suck on the vein too. And you eat your tamarind. The entire tamarind has a seed. Right? Each segment has a seed. Mm, this is sweet and nice. Mm-hmm. And one thing, you can always find a lot of fruits. A lot of fruits in the tropics. In the Caribbean, loads of fruit. So that's tamarind. Okay? Moving on. Mandarin. Citric fruit. Citrus fruit. Mandarin. Right? So look. Mandarin. So, um, this fruit, you can make chow with it. You make chow with basically or any fruit it have. You can make chow. Or, you can peg it. This is what you call pegging it. And eat it just like that. And this is loaded with vitamin C. You know? Prevent you from getting the flu, the stuffy nose, and stuff like that. 
Anytime I'm doing. Hmm. Mhm. Mm All right. Are we talking about citrus fruit? Yeah, grapefruit. fruit. Right. For people who want to lose weight and stuff like that. This is what you call pegging. Pegging the grapefruit. You peg it, you take your nails and you peg it. You peg it. You understand? You're out in the, say like you're out in the field and you, you pick some grapefruit and you don't have access to a knife. You have to peg it. A good food is not as sweet as an orange and a mandarin, as, and, and it's not as sweet as a mandarin or a tangerine. But it is good for weight loss. You want to lose some weight? You want to have a nice flat stomach? Eat some good food on a daily basis. You end up with a nice figure, nice stomach and stuff like that. Mm. So most of these food, in fact, all these foods here, you find it in Trinidad. You go by the market, just buy your foods and start consuming. Hmm. This good food is good. It's juicy and nice. All the fruits have been juicy. Mm. All right. What have I not tasted? Oh, it's our next mango. This mango reminds me of a Duru's mango. See how small it is? Duru's. One of the sweetest mango. One of the mangoes I love the best. Oh. Bought this in the international store. Okay. Mm. Really juicy. See all that juice how it's falling? Mm. Mango very sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet. Mmm. You cannot suffer in the Caribbean. Especially if you live in where you have a lot of fruit trees and stuff like that. You will not go hungry. That was a good mango. As I said, that mango is just like a Dudu's mango. All right. I tried all of these already. Um, pineapple. Let me take a few pieces of this pineapple. See? Pineapple. And I slice it up nicely so I can easily pull it out. And eat it. I love my pineapple. I really love pineapple. This one's sweet. It's a sweet pineapple, really. And it grows, it's a tropical fruit. No? It's 
it's tasty and nice. You can make all kind of pineapple drink, pineapple smoothie for the kids. You know, pineapple chow. Loads of juices here. Every type of food. probably wondering what this little green fruit is all about this is a pomsi tea pomsi tea and i remember when i was in elementary school when you were called on to spell the word pomsi tea you don't really know how to spell pomsi tea so we used to spell it like this p-o-m-c-t-c-t-y pomsi tea p-o-m-c-t-c-t-y that's how the kids used to spell it but i, I the spelling of it how it's spelled boy I think it's P-O-M-C-Y-T-H P-O-M-C-Y-T-H Yeah, or something like that, something like that. I can't really spell that word. But this is Pomsite. You use this also to make chow. To make an chow. Or you could curry it and serve it when you're serving parata bus up shop. Hmm? This is a green one. It have, when it's ripe, it's sweet and nice. But this green one kind of have a sour taste, you know? Whatever crunchy taste. Mm -hmm. Inside it, have a fibrous type of seed that can really stick you on your gum and stuff. So, you want to eat around it. Also loaded with vitamin C. See the five verse part in the middle? See this if you look good? See the little stuff spiking out? That's the seed. Mm. It's the stem. Mm, I like it. So this is pom city and this is the seed. Okay? What did I not eat? Oh. Let me try one of this fig. You know this is a short fig. The family to the bananas. The bananas? Family. I think this one is the uncle. I think this one is the nephew. I ain't so sure. But this one in Trinidad, we call this chiquito fig. Chiquito fig. So it's small. This is the kind of fig when you come from school and you go in the back and you see a bright bunch of chiquito fig. You pick and you eat because the birds will eat it before you. It is not as sweet as the banana. Sweet enough, but not as sweet as banana. You understand? Mm hmm. Chiquito fig. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Right. And that kind of fig, you cannot eat it. You cannot eat that fig when it's half ripe. Because according to the people, your belly go walk you. Which means you will end up with a lot of stomach pain. If you eat it half ripe, you have to eat it when it's ripe. This is banana. See them little brown spots on the banana? That means this is a really ripe banana. 
This is the banana you use to make smoothies and all them stuff. Banana cake and all that. Right? So. If you are low in potassium, eat a banana. It's so sweet and nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So really nice. Yeah. So there's a water problem in Trinidad. Right? And I don't know when that problem will really stop. It'll be here forever. You understand? What's I gotta do something? Find out what's the fault? What's what's the real fault? When people cannot have water to the access on a daily basis. Understand? Yeah, banana. And this one here? Papaya. See all them black seeds in the middle there? When you're eating it, you have to take out all that seeds. You can make papaya punch with this too. Alright? Make a nice papaya punch. Nice drink. And this is how it, it looks like when you take the seeds out. Okay? Take the seeds out. And you eat. Mm -hmm. So, um, as I promised you guys, I'm going to do another a video with um, fruits. Trinidad fruit, tropical fruits. So, try my best to deliver. Right? You are probably wondering if my stomach is full as yet. Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. Papaya? Yeah. Papoy. Just have a nice, you know, sweet, strange kind of taste. Hmm? You can make pop oil ball with this. This is not one of my favorite though. But it's sweet and nice. And I said, my favorite is mango. Yeah, my favorite is mango. So these are the fruits that you find in Trinidad and most Caribbean islands. Different names. So um, after you've looked at my video, for you people who are now tuning in, after you've looked at my video, could you please tell me um, what are the names they use to name certain types of fruits that you've seen on this dish? Put it in the comment box. Okay, so other people know the names of the fruits that are indigenous to the Caribbean. Uh. <laughs> uh. Right. Let's move on. I don't want the video to be too long. What's missing? Da, 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 da. I think I tried all of that. Yeah, I tried everything here. So guys, Like my video, leave a nice comment, keep the subscription going, All right? Mm -hmm. So this is again Andrea, saying thanks for viewing, but this is a mami sipe, a sipo, how you call it, mami sipe, this one of the black seed. This one is the least of my, I don't, I don't favor this too much. I tasted it. It kind of sweet, but it has a funny kind of taste, which I'm not too, too familiar with, but I know it's grown in, in, um, in the Caribbean. A lot of people probably like it or love it, but this is not Andrea's favorite, okay? So, this is the girl Andrea, signing off for the night, and I'll be coming back again with another video. 
all right take care and see you